Hey guys, welcome back. We've got a um, 2005 Cadillac that was towed down here from uh, another garage. This um, this car is a crank is a no crank no start, and I'm going to show you what we're doing here and what we got. All right, guys. So quickly here, I already have uh, looked at this vehicle. I have the Bosch hooked up. I cannot communicate with the PCM or the TCM in this vehicle. Now. I am able to communicate with other modules, so what I want to do is I want to show you where we're at with this thing, okay? The other modules are giving me codes for, uh, they're all complaining about the PCM, no communication with the PCM. You got to excuse the chime, but I'm going to show you quickly here what's going on, okay? Let me grab a light. If you see those uh, those two leads, they are out of the AES test lead kit, which I highly recommend. Uh, I'm sorry about the background noise, by the way. It is freezing in here. I have the heat going very close to me. Um, so I'm sorry if that's resonating. In any case, uh, we have our two pins hanging there out of the OBD2 connector, okay? I unplugged the scanner. And I have my meter, okay, across pins 6 and 14, which is can high and low. I should have 60 ohms resistance here. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take my one lead from the meter. I'll try to show you guys at the same time I'm going to put it on volts. I'm going to go to my ground here, and I'm still hooked up to one of the pins, okay? Either 6 or 14, I'm not sure at the moment. I'm going to turn my key on, and I have nothing. So I'm going to switch, see if I have anything on the other side, and nothing. All right. At this point, what I'm doing is I'm going to refer to my wiring diagram, and this is the this is the um, data line <clears throat> diagram I have marked out here, partially. This is my class two data that's marked out. Okay, this is a 3.6. What I'm looking at though is the Okay, so what I'm actually what I'm actually going after here, this is your data link connector right here, pins one through sixteen. Pin fourteen, right here, the tan, and pin six, the tan and black, are your. See these here. Okay, the two marked out in orange. Those are your can can bus high and low right here now if you look these are going directly from our OBD2 connector they're going directly to the transmission control module so the next step was I had unplugged my TCM and I ohm the wires from the TCM I left my meter connected between the TCM pin to the pin at the OBD2 connector, okay, right here. I unplugged, and what I found was I had nothing. Uh, I had no resistance, obviously. No, I had no continuity between those two points. So I'm going to move you guys over here. All right, guys, so here we are. We have our meter set up outside the vehicle. It's at pin... 6 and 14 of the data link connector key is off. I am looking for 60 ohms of resistance. I have, I have an open here. I have an open circuit. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just go to the problem area and I'm going to move it around. And there's your 60 ohms of resistance. The problem it stays now. The problem is in this connector right here. 
this main connector. This is where our uh, data lines and everything go through. And that is where our issue was, okay? The connector, <clears throat> the connector was not completely locked in, uh, in the closed position. These things have to snap closed. It was just open a little bit and it was causing an issue. So tracking it down, especially when you, when you look at this, this thing looks like it's closed. Okay, this, I mean, it is closed now, but it doesn't, it, there's no real difference the way this was. It was, I mean, it was right here. It was just, just like that. It looks like it's locked in, but it was enough, it was enough to keep the, the circuit open, okay, to make, to break the connection. Now, what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to pull this apart, this connector, and I'm going to just check my pin retention on each terminal because that can be an issue here. And I'm going to verify that those pins are all tight. If they are, then I'm going to close everything back up. I'm going to get it together. I'm going to drive the car. I'm going to make sure it's okay, and I'm going to call the customer. However, um, if I need to replace a terminal or I see something in there that I don't like, I will turn the camera back on and I will film it, I guess, for you guys just to show you how to fix them. But this is not about that. This is about strategy, okay? This is about, this video is designed to show you if you have the strategy in mind on how to diagnose this, on how to approach this problem um, from start to finish, you're going to come to the correct conclusion. That's the key. Um, <clears throat> as I said before, no communication with the PCM or the TCM. Uh, no crank, no start. I have communication with other modules, a bunch of modules complaining about the communication being lost with the PCM. Uh, that's, you know, it's all leading you in the same place, right? You're not gonna throw a computer at it even though these computers on these cars uh, take a dump quite frequently. You're not gonna just throw a computer at it. You're gonna go through it and check it and see why you have no communication. And by doing this type of testing, that's how you're gonna come to the correct conclusion and not be a parts changer, okay? We're going to go to 2005. We're going to go to Cadillac. This is an SRX 3.6. We're going to go to Read DTCs, PCM, Continue. I'm going to try this again because I lost, I lost the uh, device now. Okay. Try this again, continue. And if I'm right, it's gonna be just like magic. Look at that. Just like magic. But we do have codes in here. And uh, I'm going to clear these because I know why we have codes in here, so I'm not concerned with that right now. No code. I'm going to bring you back over here. Let me just set you up here for a second. I have my meter set up on volts now, right? I'm gonna unplug my OBD2 connector. I'm gonna take my one lead. And let me see if I can set this up so you can see it a little better. Let's try right there. 
I'm gonna go back into pin 14. Key on. Notice I have two and a half volts. I will go into pin six. All right, 2.38 volts. We're right on the money now. Um, if I shut the key, we'll go back to our we'll go back to our resistance test on the can high and low. So we're just taking our meter and we're going across pin six and pin 14. Go to resistance. And as you can see now, again, as I showed you under the hood, we have 60 ohms of resistance, okay? All right, guys, this is not anything uh, spectacular by any stretch. Uh, this is basic can tests that you can do on the car. If you do not have a scope, you can use a meter to run your basic checks for, uh, for can just by doing this, okay? You go across, and this has been shown in a lot of other videos. It's just that I happened to get this car in here with this problem, and I thought it was interesting. Uh, you want to see 60 ohms of resistance, okay? Uh, these are from the, you're getting this from the 220 ohm terminating resistors in the modules. There's, I'm not going to go into all that. There's a lot more uh, information out there that I really don't need to go into this. You can just search around. Uh, they'll, it's, it's well explained. It's well documented out there. The key to this, guys, is, is uh, well, I think the whole point of this video is training. Um, you guys got to train if you're doing this for a living. If you're looking to do this for a living, I can't stress it enough. Uh, TST's big event is coming up in March. Uh, I'm trying my best to set something up so I can get there this year. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I was there last year. Uh, I got some other stuff that I need to deal with right now. I'm going to try. We'll see. Um, but if I can't, just because I can't doesn't mean you can't. You should get out there and train. There's events all over the country. Vision uh, is coming up. You know, there, there is training events. I'm not in that. I'm not anywhere near local to that area, so that's an impossibility for me. But I know some of you guys are local to that area. If you are, go go check it out. Um, you know, look for training events, guys. Look to learn. Never stop learning. Um, this stuff scares people. You know, data, you know, CAN bus, all this stuff scares people for some reason. Uh, nothing to be scared of. Learn the system, you could fix the system. It's that simple. Uh, these guys, these guys spent a lot of time on this vehicle after the engine was installed, and the reason they spent a lot of time is because they don't have the uh, strategy, the the diagnostic process to go through to check the problem. Um, we, you know, this is what we do, right? This is what we are out here for. So, I'm just trying to say. Um, try to try to learn as much as you can. Never stop learning. There's there's uh, there's new things every day that you can find online. Our network of techs are uh, are trying to help the new guys that are getting into the business. We're trying to help the guys that are been in the business for a long time. They just never got into the diagnostic side of things. Um, if you guys haven't already, please check out Train by Techs. They have a YouTube channel. These guys, uh, these guys are some of the people that I am very, very proud to call my friends and my brothers in this industry, and uh, they're definitely they're definitely changing the game for everybody. The information's out there, the help is out there. Uh, there's no excuses today not to learn. So, if you can't make it to a training event, get involved with organizations. Get involved with guys that are willing to teach you. There's there's uh, literature that you can buy. There's videos you can watch. Train. Never stop learning. Um, I had Keith down here and Ivan from Pine Hollow Auto and New Level uh, Auto during the week. Had a great time catching up with them guys. I haven't seen them in a while. And uh, those guys have channels, obviously, that you can watch. If you guys don't know about it, I'm very surprised. Because if you're watching me, I'm sure you're watching them. Uh, if you're not watching them, you should be. So uh, get involved, guys. Get into the get into the loop. Get into the network, and um, and check this out. Check it all out because everybody out there is putting out incredible information today. 
like Steve Scott says, right, from Simply Diagnostics, he's another guy you better be watching. We're stronger together. So the more information we share with each other, the better we can serve our customers as a whole. Keep learning, guys. I'll see you at the shop.